Welcome back to another video. For this project, we're going to use a light worsted weight yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. If you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Kath and I do crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram as well as my Facebook page at What About Yarn. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Starting off with a chain of 10. We're going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. To work a double crochet, you're going to yarn over and insert the hook into the stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Now you're going to work that same stitch in each of the chains across. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain 3, turn your work, and this time we're going to work again a double crochet, but we're going to do that into the back loop. Okay, so double crochet back loop into the next stitch, and to do that, you're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the back loop of the next stitch, so this is our first stitch and this is our second stitch. Now you're going to insert the hook into the back loop. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Now you're going to repeat that same stitch all the way across. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to work your last stitch into the third chain of the turning chains. Now after this, you're just going to repeat the same row, row 2, until you have a total of 31 rows. So do that and meet me back later once you get there. Once you have 31 rows, we're going to continue with a chain of 3. And from here, we will start working on the side of the ribbing. Now, the idea here is to work two stitches in each of the row. So, chain three counts as one double crochet. So, since we already have one stitch there, we will only work one stitch into the first row. So, on the first row, you're going to work one double crochet. And on the second row, we're going to work two double crochet. Now you're going to continue working two double crochets on each of the row until you get to the very end. At the very end of the row, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Now the pattern for this row is double crochet, front post double crochet. So since our chain three counts as one double crochet, the next stitch will be a front post double crochet stitch. Now to work a front post double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over and insert the hook into the post of the next stitch, like so. Now grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops on your hook. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. So since we have a front post double crochet, we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch and front post double crochet into the next stitch. So that will be the pattern that you will repeat for the rest of the stitches. Double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, all the way across until the end of the row. Once you get to the end of the row, you're going to work your last stitch, which is a double crochet into the third chain of the turning chains. Now chain three. And turn your work. 
And from here, we're just going to follow the stitch pattern from the previous row. So for example, the next stitch is a double crochet. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. And the next stitch is a front post double crochet, right? But since we are working from the back part or the wrong side of the panel, we're still going to repeat that same stitch, but this time we're going to do that into the back of the stitch. So for example, you're going to yarn over and insert the hook into the post of the stitch from the back, like so. Now grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. So this stitch is called a back post double crochet stitch. So that will be the pattern for the rest of the stitches. So just follow the stitch pattern. The next one is a double crochet. And the next one is a back post double crochet. So keep on working this until you get to the very end of the row. the end of the row you're going to work your last double crochet stitch into the third chain of the turning chains so chain three and as you can see here we can see that the ribbing is starting to form now so from here you're just going to work or you're just going to keep on working row two and row three and row 2 is the one where you have a front post double crochet and row 3 is the one with the back post double crochet stitch. So keep on working row 2 and row 3 until you have a total of 14 rows. So do that and meet me back later once you get there. So this is how the front panel looks like at the moment. We have a total of 13 rows, 14 if you will include counting the first row of double crochet. So this panel measures 6 inches at the moment. Now to continue, we're going to chain 3 and turn your work. Now for this row, we're going to be decreasing. So on the next 2 stitches, we will decrease 1 stitch. So on the next 2 stitches, we will work a double crochet 2 together or a double crochet decrease. Now it's basically... Uh, two double crochets, but then we're going to make it into a one stitch. So to do that, you're going to yarn over and insert the hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops on your hook, just like what you do with a normal double crochet. And we're going to repeat that same stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over and insert the hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops and this time we're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on the hook. Now this is going to count as one stitch, okay? So from here we're just going to follow the stitch pattern. The next stitch is a front post double crochet. And the next stitch is a double crochet. Front post double crochet, double crochet. Now you're going to repeat this following the stitch pattern until you get to the last three stitches. So you're going to stop working your last stitch into this part and meet me back later once you get to the last three stitches. Now onto the very last three stitches. As you can see, I already did my double crochet two together or double crochet decrease. Now on the very last stitch, we're going to work our double crochet. So that's double crochet two together and a double crochet at the end of the row. Now chain three and turn your work. 
Now for this row, we're just going to repeat that same stitch, a double crochet, two together, but then we will do it twice. Yes, so onto the next two stitches, we're going to work a double crochet, two together. That counts as one stitch and you're going to repeat that again into the next two stitches. So, so for this side we have decreased two stitches. Now from here you're just going to follow that same stitch pattern. Since we are working from the back side we will work a back post double crochet stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. So continue following the stitch pattern until you get to the last five stitches. Do that and meet me back later once you get there. Now onto the last five stitches. You're going to work two double crochet decrease or two double crochet two together. So this is the first one and then you're going to work the second one. So that is one and two. Now on the last stitch is a double crochet. Now after this, you're just going to keep on repeating those two rows. So the first row is the one with one double crochet decrease and the second row is the one with two double crochet decrease. Repeat that until you get to the neckline or until you have a total of 22 rows since the very beginning of the first row. So do that and meet me back later once you get there. So here I did about 22 rows and my panel currently measures 7 and a half inch from the bottom ribbing. So to continue we're going to work any amount of chains that you need that is going to go around your neck so that you can do the halter straps. Once you have the chains, you're going to work a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. And to work a slip stitch, you're just going to insert the hook into the chain, grab the yarn and pull through all of the loops on your hook. And you're going to work a slip stitch in each of the chain across until you get to the end of your chains. Once you get to the very end of your chains, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch in the neckline. Just like so. And continue working a slip stitch until you get to the opposite side of your panel. Once you get to the corner at the opposite side of your panel, you're just going to repeat the same procedure as you did with the other strap. And once you're done with that, you're just going to fasten off and cut the yarn. Now 
The next step is to do the side panel and for that we're going to attach the yarn into the bottom corner of the top and chain 3. Chain 3 here counts as 1 stitch and we're going to work a total of 8 stitches following the ribbing. We're also going to work 2 double crochets on each of the rows and you can see the rows better if you flip the panel over like so. So work 2 double crochets on each of the row until you get to the very end of this row. And once you get to the very end of the row, you're going to chain 3 and turn your work. And from here, we will repeat the same thing as what we did with the ribbing. So we will work a double crochet back loops only into the stitch, into each of these stitches across. And once you're done with that, you're going to repeat that same row with a double crochet back loops only until you have a total of 8 rows. So here I have 7 rows. Now before working the last row, we're going to determine where we will place the provision for the lace back ties. So for example, I'm just going to attach a stitch marker because I will place my provisions into these 4 areas. You can do the same thing as well using a stitch marker. Now after this, we will continue working our last row. So chain 3 counts as 1 stitch, so we'll, we will add 1 extra chain to that and we will skip the stitch marker. And continue working a double crochet back loops into each of the stitches until we get to the next stitch marker. When you get to the stitch marker, just going to remove that and chain 1, skip that stitch and continue working until we get to the end of the row. So here as you can see, I already have my provisions for the lace back ties. After this, we will repeat the same thing for the other side panel as well. To secure the back part, you're just going to chain any amount of chains that you need for the lace back ties. The last part is to weave in your ends using a yarn needle and that marks the end of this tutorial. If you will make this top, please don't forget to tag me on social media at whataboutyarn and if you have any comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment box below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!